obviously things didn't go how you hoped they would go tonight. But um, talk about the experience. It seemed all week long it was uh, you know kind of special for you. Did any of that factor in? Were there nerves? Was you know it, it, would anything? kind of leading up to this make the performance tough for you tonight? Uh, no, Michelle Watterson's a really good fighter. Um, she used to be the Adam, Adam Weight champion of the world for Invicta, and that's a really big deal. So I know she's going to go very, very far in this sport. I knew it was going to be a big test for me. Um, Got to work on my jiu-jitsu, apparently, so I'm going to do that. A couple of tough spots for you, you know, when you've been in these headlining positions. Um, does, it, does it feel, I mean, because we've always wondered, did you get rushed into this position? I mean, you're so young in your career, kind of forced to the spotlight. Has it feel like you've been rushed a little bit, and do you want to take maybe a step back to develop and work on those things? Uh, no, I was meant for the spotlight, and I'm going to continue to be in the spotlight, and I will be back, and I'm going to have the belt one day. I'm 22 years old. Um, I have a long time, so um, I have the best team in the world, and it's finally, like, really come together as a perfect, perfect gym for me, so I'll be back. Paige, you talked about this before. You have so many opportunities outside of the octagon, and you didn't really want to talk about that before the fight. But now when you look at whether it's movies, whether it's wrestling, whether it's whatever, how do you balance all these people kind of want to work with you? Um, I have the best team in the world. Um, everything's uh, been a perfect balance. You know, I got caught tonight. It happens. Um, I'm not blaming any other outside factors, no matter what went on. Um, got caught, and it happens in the sport, you know, it's a fight, absolutely anything can happen, whether I had the best camp in the world or whether I had circumstances that put me back, it, it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to go out there and train hard, get better. But not that you would blame this loss on that, but where, where do you see yourself going from here? I mean, um, are you committed to, to just doing this, or is there a chance we could see you doing some other stuff as well? Um, yeah, you know, I feel my opportunities are Opportunities are endless. Um, I'm definitely going to be fighting for the UFC for a long time. I'm very young, no injuries, so I'm going to get back into it. Um, but, of course, if other things come up, I'm going to pursue those as well. Um, I, I have a lot of passions in the world, and I'm not going to limit myself to just one thing. And finally, you touched on that. How hard is that to do a, kind of both? Like if you want to do a movie for a couple of months or whatever and come back to this, is it that a hard thing to do? You've done it before, though. Um, no, I've never filmed a movie before. Well, not <laughs> um, with the stars, you know, I mean. No, I've, obviously I took a break from Dancing with the Stars and I came back and I knocked somebody out. So I, I'm very good at balancing my outside factors. I, I have the best team in the world. I'm, I'm very smart. I could have done anything I wanted to and I chose to fight. And I'm going to continue to balance my schedule. People get caught and I'm not going to overthink it. I need to work on my jiu-jitsu and that's it. Uh, Paige, obviously tonight didn't go how you wanted, but is there a silver lining for you with having uh, three of your teammates come out with wins tonight? Um, it, it feels huge. You know, obviously it means I need to trust the system. Um, they have amazing wins. You know, um, Hector Sandoval came out here and put on a dominant performance. Uh, Josh Emmett, another superstar in the rise, and Uri Favor went out with, with a bang with his last, uh, last fight. So I have the strongest team in the world, and I know that. So it's really exciting. I'm proud of my teammates. We had David Mitchell just got a big win overseas for us tonight as well. So, um, yeah, I'll cry later. I, I'm just happy that I'm here. Any thoughts on Uriah's final fight? I actually didn't watch it. Um, it was gonna. It was too hard for me, so I'm gonna go back and rewatch it. But I know he he did great. Yeah. What's next for you? What's next? Uh, you know, opportunities are endless. I have a lot of big things and um, working outside of fighting, so I'm gonna pursue those, pursue those for a little while. Um, I definitely need a vacation, so I'm planning that right now. And then uh, straight back to work, back in the gym, uh, getting ready for my next fight. Paige, you kind of answered the question I had for you just now, but I guess you know. We always ask, like, what, what is next for you? You know, what opportunities do you have? Because you do have these sort of dual lives. H how do you make that decision at the end of the day? I mean, ultimately, it is, it is your decision. But what do you do? I mean, do you sit down and you have, like, a portfolio of here's all the entertainment options you can do, or you can jump back into fight camp? Like, how does the process work of you picking what's next? No, I, I don't really have dual lives. I just have awesome opportunities, um, one of which is fighting. And I have a lot of other really awesome things going on outside of this. But no, my managers balance my schedule 100%. If something's not going to work for me, they immediately just eliminate it. And then if something's a good opportunity and it works with my schedule, we take it. Like before I bought, fought Beck, I was supposed to be in a movie, and I turned it down because it was going to mess up my fight camp. So I, I know how to balance my schedule very, very well. Smart girl. Um, but no, th this just came down to not preparing my jiu-jitsu, and that's, that's it.
Do you think that there is like a, a magic number for you in terms of what makes sense, how many times you would fight a year? Like did, did two feel right or would you like to be a little more active? How many fights do you think make sense a year for you? Absolutely, it depends. Um, it depends on my schedule. It depends if I have another big opportunity like Dancing with the Stars come up. It depends on, um, you know, taking injuries. If I go into a fight and get injured, obviously you have to take time. So there's a lot of factors that play into it. I'm not hurt at all right now. So I, I definitely plan on going straight back into the gym and, Maybe I'll find in a few months. Maybe it'll be six months. Who knows? It just it depends on if the opportunity is right.